Is porn even possible without Viagra? I have a gangbang right after. After this podcast? What are the specifics of a gangbang? You have to make sure that you don't have the vein. You yeah. inject it yourself. And then literally people do that outside and f*** on the street. It's pretty dope. What is up, guys? Today we're gonna have a conversation with Chris Damned, a famous porn star. We went to see Chris at his beautiful apartment in Los Angeles. We watched some of his work on my main channel. And now it's time to sit down with him for an uncensored podcast conversation. All right, Jeff, you're gonna clap in three, two, one. Biggest sissy clap ever. Next time you need to clap with your ass. Next time you need to clap with your ass. Make that ass two clap. on one the whole time. But you're good at ass clapping. That's also a skill. You as a as a porn star, you also have experienced that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Between Jeff and I, who's more attractive? What do you think? Uh, you know, I like all shapes and colors, so it doesn't really matter. But hey, if you want an answer, I'll give you one. Why would I choose? I don't like to choose. We I take like it all. Putting people on this podcast. <laughs> Why is every single person we put on this fucking podcast such a weaselly weasel? They're We're not weaselly weasel. weasel. We want both. They're way out of like questions. Oh, no. I mean? This podcast is called Uncensored. And the reason why it's called Uncensored is because you can uncensoredly. Yeah. That's a word. <laughs> answer the questions well i just answer i want both i don't like to choose i never have i never will okay cool uh, okay. i take it all it's like pokemon i gotta catch them all <laughs> <laughs> so um jeff you just uh, watched <clears throat> for the first time chris <clears throat> and in action right we just filmed a video on my main channel where we watched um an adult film where he was a firefighter you know yeah what was like your experience like wh how do you you know see the world now after watching this um i'm more intrigued than ever i just have so many questions for you and i mean so many like is there is there something specifically that turns you on or is there anything feet right yeah feet, feet. yeah okay yeah. Wow. like feet and legs when their legs rub onto like oof yeah I'm pretty and you say you've also you also yeah. do stuff do you like that <laughs> he's like stop <laughs> Yeah, pretty much like that. Yeah, you do some uh, straight porn yeah. as well. How is that? It's fine. Yeah, is it turn you on, or is it just like you're going through the motions? You just want to get you know, uh, clock out. You know what? It's both because even sometimes with shooting with gear for gear porn, I'm like, ugh, I just need this to be over. So it really depends. Sometimes you have great experiences, and sometimes you don't. It doesn't really matter if it's gay, straight, or trans, or anything. So, yeah. What do you do though if you like really not into a scene partner? Right, you have to be on set. You're getting paid a thousand dollars for a scene, and well, you have to like you know more than that. But uh, yeah, keep going. No, but okay, you have to do a scene, right? And you have the pressure. You at a studio right now. But you're not into that person. Like, how do you, how do you actually do it? Like, do you like every aspect of your job, or do you like everyone that you came across with? I don't like Jeff sometimes, but generally I do like my most people that I work. Because the thing is, like, with me as a YouTuber, I can kind of choose who I work. That's why I'm working with you. Um, I, I really like your energy. You know, that's why I was like, hey, I want to, I want to film with him. You know? Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's work, so you have to stay professional. Mm. Um. But then th there's probably like one or two performers that I tell my agent that well you actually knows do not book me um, regardless they don't work anymore so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> mm, I see. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And then with you said trends and 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 girls. I mean, is that like a common thing or what's like the most I guess popular, especially with with trans people, right? I'm, I watched the show Euphoria. Have you seen it? No, I don't have time to watch TV. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I guess. I didn't even. Agree. There was a trans. That's good. There's more representation of trans people mm -hmm. on TV. And it's uh, it's also in a way done where it's not the main focus and it's sexualized in a way where it's not. It's the story doesn't revolve around their process or like you know it's not a big deal. It's just that person's a trans person and has a penis and that's it's just a well, fact, right? So just because yeah, it doesn't mean that you're trying, like some people are post up, some people are pre up, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, okay. Whenever I make a video like this, I'm always like, okay, Mario, don't fuck it up. There's so don't many worry. terms If right you now, will, you know I'll I mean? call you out. Okay, okay, sounds good. <laughs> I live with a trans woman, trust me. I know oh, you do? Okay, yeah. yeah, great. And how is that um in porn? Is that like a big subcategory? What would you say is like the best, like the most common category of porn that, that is like out there? Uh, obviously straight straight porn is number yeah. one by far yeah yeah and then there's gay trans is a, a big thing but like talking to eva uh, she the, the trans community is not remotely recognized as much as the tra the, the straight uh, ministry even when we do awards she keeps telling me that trans are usually all the way at the end mm. or they just like for a short 
like very very quickly mm -hmm. so it, it's a shame because a lot of people love trans people and they need to be recognized a little more so yeah how about you jeffy are you attracted to because like <clears throat> talked to riley in the last episode about his sexuality that he doesn't identify straight because he also is attracted to non-binary people you know mm -hmm. how's that how's your experience with that Would you watch um, porn with a woman with a massive schlong that might be bigger than yours? Most just likely. say, would you watch trans porn? <laughs> Probably not, but... A, it's not for everyone. It's just like, you know... A trans woman that... Like, he is an incredibly good-looking man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a trans well, that presents herself as a female and I find her hot. I would totally watch that, you know? But when I say you're hot, it doesn't necessarily get much long going. It could <laughs> on the right night. <laughs> so don't take that as a no. <laughs> So Don't yeah, take that as a no, as if he asked you something. Just like <laughs> I have had a couple times where I've hooked up with someone and I sent some Snapchats from that night and they were like, how was that dude last night? And I said, I thought there was a woman. Mm. So I don't know if like I was a little drunk, if that makes sense. Shows like Euphoria, for example, are doing a good job at like normalizing it and not making it a big deal. It just is something, you know, like we grew up with movies. I truly think movies have such a powerful. Oh, yeah. Play such a powerful role in like educating people and, you know, teaching it was teaching us what the new norm is. Like I grew up watching if you watch Disney movies, what bro, growing up, then yeah. you have this image of like a man and a woman in this Disney princess relationship. And that's what you seek, like Cinderella. I know that fuck up a lot of my relationships too. Yeah. <laughs> you like fall in love two minutes later on the TV and then you realize it's not happening for years. It's not, it's not and you're like, happening. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, Disney just fucked a lot of like people up. So what's your relationship <laughs> life been like? Uh it's been rough, but I've been seeing someone recently, so Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Really headed it off, so we'll see. Okay. You wanna give me some more details? <laughs> you know? Like, are you feel do you feel butterflies inside of you right now? I do. Yeah? Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. He's very he's very special. And when you shoot scenes, do you like do you completely like separate that? Or because I, I find that like huh, for me, I have a very difficult relationship with sex because of like assault and stuff like that, which I'm working through right now. But I think like if I have a partner, it's, it will be hard for me maybe to at a shoot like distance myself. Or do you almost go into like an alter ego? Do you become Chris Damned and then you like put those feelings aside? No, I, I guess I embrace it. So yeah, I don't know. But then I, I do think sometimes I feel a little guilty, not guilty, but I think about him. And I'm like, Fuck. But then most of the time, thinking about him helps me come. So mm -hmm. that just makes my performance a little better. That's wow. beautiful. Yeah. I think, Jeff, that's also one of the most romantic things, you know? Yeah. I'm home from work. <laughs> you know, I'm picturing Chris coming home from work, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, how was work, honey? You know, and, yeah, I was thinking about you, you know? Mm -hmm. you made, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a sweet man. Yeah. He's a sweet man. I have a question for you. I'm going to tell you really quickly my afternoon yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I went on a date with a girl, female. We went to Fogo to Chow lunch. Well, if she's a girl, you don't have to say female. She's a girl. She's a girl. So we went to lunch, <laughs> Fogo to Chow. We went back to my apartment. Uh -huh. She wants to have sex immediately. I don't know why, but I was like not in the mood immediately. Yeah, and look at you. What? And she's like confused. She's like, I don't get it. I'm here to have sex. Girl so, power. Yeah, well, yeah fuck that. I How did. did you meet that person? I took a Viagra. Okay. 30 minutes later, we started fucking i fucked four times that's hot. my question to you is okay is porn even possible without viagra because yeah for sure but you take it every time you perform i'm assuming well yeah because i've been doing it for a while but um when i shoot my only fans video i don't take viagra it's a different story because when you're on set again you have to it's a long day rather than having casual sex with a partner off camera or even for my only fans it's just regular sex so it i don't really need supplements damn like because i wonder if i'm like hooked on it now if i uh if that's what's wrong my talk mind. to a doctor i don't think viagra is addicting but you I should need talk a doctor to, yeah you, 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 what, do you need more doctor. like if you take viagra now do no you need don't more? yeah yeah that's the problem yeah. but uh maybe it's also in your head just talk to a therapist yeah Get that why are you a little shy why i've never heard a man just like having a gorgeous woman walk in his apartment and be like i want to fuck you and the guy's like Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I would be that guy. I would 100% be that guy. Who said she I'm, was gorgeous? I'm very shy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeff, Jeff goes oh, for like, He picks up the low-hanging fruit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, what yeah, talk to a doctor. Yeah, a therapist. So there is some blockage that can happen also mentally. So. Oh, 100%. I had like I had problems with that. I'm going to be open about this, 100%. Mm. When I had sex, especially after I had like 
I didn't like realize this, but I definitely had some sexual trauma from like, you know, negative experiences like with sexual assault as a model where photographers would touch me or one, you know, like sexual assault happened. And after that, I was like, yo, whenever I was being touched, even to this day, I'm more, I literally went through this. When my girlfriend even touches me, I sometimes, it reminds me of like when I was touched as a model and then I like, I get a direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, we have to, and then just like goes, meow, you know? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I think it's a hundred, I think, there is sure a uh, health thing. And of course, with your age, Jeff's approaching like 60 soon. So he's, uh, there's something there, but I think in 99% of the cases, erectile dysfunction is something psychological too, you know? Uh, I, I think it's physical and psychological. So yeah. there is so many treatment that you can do. You can actually, um, I think I saw that recently, one of the performer, um, I believe he injected blood in his penis to, oh, yeah, to yeah. help. Mm. Reno Gold did so that. So it, it will help. There is oh, yeah, so many right. new things that you can try. And then there's also like natural vitamins that you can take. I take some vitamins that helps. What, what do you take? <sighs> I forgot the name of it. But there is like a couple of things that helps this with This would be a brand deal moment. You know it's what I mean? Basically like male libido. Male libido. Cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, no, because Reno Gold told me about this. There's a procedure you can do to that. They, they draw your blood mm -hmm. and then they put in a centrifuge yeah, to take the plasma, like the the plasma or something and then reject it and he said it gives him like more like just stronger erections mm. yeah and at least it's natural you don't have to take Tramex. yeah yeah i haven't tried um maybe i will i could yeah, why not are you um as attracted to straight men as you are gay men <sighs> i mean i'm attracted to guys so yes but the the fucking bullshit when a guy is like on the dl or bisexual and then they're like making i'm like i don't have time to play the game do <laughs> you want to fuck yes it. or no I was just like, oof. there was one that was talking to me yesterday on, on Grindr. And I was like, ugh. I just, DL? No, it wasn't yesterday. It was, when was it? I don't remember. But he was like, I was like, well, he's like, how do you know you're the real Chris Demo? I'm like, here's my number. Just FaceTime. He's like, oh, I don't give my number. I'm like, oh, okay, I don't have time. Like, the game mm. is just go away. It's either you want it or you don't. Mm, I see that. But there is a lot of gay people that love to chase straight men. Mm -hmm. I, just, I, I think there's a like term the for it, isn't there? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I know there's so many terms. It's like a chicken hawk. There's a bear. There's a wolf. There's a giraffe. You know, all these dead gay tribes. No, the, the, it's a bear, an otter, or a twink. Mm -hmm. But then there's also chicken hawk, which is an older gay man <laughs> who exclusively <laughs> goes after younger chicken. <laughs> You look at <laughs> no and i've met some of them i've met some of them some of my friends like i definitely chicken hawks because they only there's like these older dudes with a lot of money like lawyers or something and they have their house in palm springs and they always invite like young that's called guys sugar daddy that doesn't it's not chicken i, mean. I think chicken hawk just sounds like more predatory it's like it's, <laughs> it sounds more fun you know what i mean <laughs> and then you go to palm springs have you been to palm springs i love palm springs it's tattooed on my arm we go yeah and we're gonna go for coachella yeah and there's a gym called uh, mm -hmm. go uh, World's Gym Palm Springs. Yeah, this is full it's of homos. Full of bears. Yeah. <laughs> full of bears. Yeah. Bears and also with some chicken hawk quality. So my question is, Chris Damned, what are you? <sighs> I don't know. Some people call me a daddy already. I consider myself like a like a maybe a, a jock. I can see that. I, I'm not really a bear, obviously. But you're too edgy for a jock. I love your tattoos. I guess I'm just French. Right? European. <laughs> You know, European gets you out of anything. But when people ask me about my sexuality, I always say, I'm European, you know, and then the, yeah. the, the, the conversation ends right there. Yeah, you know? that's true. That's Which I, I, It's funny because, especially in France, they all think that we're all open and the gays are okay, but it's probably worse. You think so? Oh, yeah. In France? Especially where I'm from. Where exactly in France are you from? I'm no? from Marseille. Marseille, okay. So, yeah. very, um, I mean, there's a huge gay community. It's the second biggest city in France. You know, I just know Marseille because I, I listen to some German rap and they have a lot of like rappers from Marseille and yeah. Marseille sounds like a little bit of a, like also a little like, they have some rap scene there together, like also masculine, you know, seems yeah. maybe, yeah, I can see that. So how would you, because I know Berlin, I and mean, it's so different because Germany as a whole, people are always like, oh, are you from Germany? Some, yeah. um, some are fl flying from Miami and then like area of Florida and then some from New York. And, yeah. Like, Is there like an there. RSVP? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like an application or something <laughs> that I can submit? <laughs> Just your photos. Just my photos. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll refer you. Wow. How does it, Okay. <clears throat> What are the specifics of a gangbang? Like, is it organized well, or is it just like a, a... There's a difference between a gangbang and an orgy. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. So tomorrow is an orgy because everybody says sex. A gangbang is usually one person getting fucked by everybody. Oh, wow. Else. Yeah, that's like somebody's birthday or something, yes. you know? That's Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yep. Jeff, your 60th birthday. We're going to make that happen for you. Yeah, yeah. Right Rosebud. here. <laughs> wow. So, but with an orgy, is it like 
that's it's just like a free you just how does it work like do you say hi do you get dinner like is there food is dinner there, is there snacks? Uh, who eats dinner before mm, an orgy we're all gay yeah, here true, true, true. <laughs> we're all gay here i forgot i forgot for a second yeah i forgot for a second i'm sorry <laughs> uh no it's just most of us know each other already and when you so I'm, i i there think there's two or three people that i don't know but nobody cares. We're just filming. It's work. Okay, so it's for content creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. see. Okay, because I always, I always find that awkward when you go to a place. For me, at least, sex has always happened sort of like organically, right? With like some. I mean, this is probably the opposite for you, but like uh, with with filming. But um, I'm always wondering like when you go to like a friend's birthday party, right? But you go to good orgy, you know. You walk in, you say hi, you know, and then hey, how's how's the wife? And then you just all of a sudden like just start gang banging, you know. I was wondering. I guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean. We usually yeah. barely say hi. It's just like up on our knees. <laughs> okay. Okay. Easy, yeah. Yeah. We'll so pretty right efficient, it. straight to the point. Yeah, we don't have time. There's another gangbang to get into. There's another gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, it's just like in and out. I love that. I, again, I love the efficiency. I, I always said this gay community is so efficient <laughs> to me. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Uh -huh. After hearing all these stories and watching all this, yeah. do you think you would have what it takes to be an adult film star? I do not think so. Mm. I mean, I don't know if I have the stamina for it. I don't think I've busted more than three nuts in a night having sex. You know, yeah. And I mean, it, you got to be, you got to more know, stamina. Got it. That, right? <laughs> oh, I do have a good question though. I, was there when you got into the industry? Was there any sort of? Uh, were you subject to any rookie treatment, like rookie hazing? I was told no. that um, this guy I know, he said that they want to throw you in the fire to begin with to make sure that you can perform. He said he had to go in a 13-person gangbang like this first time. Uh, no, and also, like, again, my agent, so I just... No, I never had any hazing or anything. Okay, so you didn't have to. They didn't just throw you in the fire. You, they eased you in. Well, I didn't really need to be eased into it. I had gangbangs before. <laughs> Sorry, this oh, really yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. But what was your first scene like? Right, you shoot your first scene. Were you like nervous the first time you have to like um, perform? No, I wasn't nervous. The only question I have for the director, and I think I mentioned that before, I was like, "What if I come too soon?" He was like, "Then you just stop and we call you off." So that was just okay. I never had a problem with the camera. Mm -hmm. No, that's I mean, good. I love yeah, being naked. So no, I didn't have. Any you problem. love being naked. Yeah, I don't have a problem with my body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I've I've seen you naked. I I wouldn't. You know what I mean? If I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, I think the. Um, when you're on set though I, that's I think the one th reason why I could not do it because I have so many issues with like even when there's like performance anxiety is real for me no like, I mean there's a lot of people sometimes on set like there's some of the, my biggest movies there are like maybe 10 people on set on top of like the, the, the other uh, performers has it ever happened that like you or one of the performers like just couldn't get it up you know what I mean Trimax Trimax, Trimax. So yeah, but Trimax, I want to like, tell me more about that. You just, it's an injection, but what does it do? You just, you inject it, where do you inject it? Like, cause I got scroll tucks in my nutsack, yeah, it was painful as fuck. It's, it, you have to insert it in a cer uh, certain space on your penis. It's usually like, you put your finger at the bottom of the shaft and then this is when you inject. But you have to make sure that you don't hit the vein. Mm. So, so yeah. you inject it yourself. Like yeah, you take it's an insulin. It's very, very small. Okay. I'm so for the needles. I, I don't know if I- You just, if you go slow, honestly, you barely feel it. Okay. And where do you, where do you, where, <clears throat> just ask your friend, where can I get some Trimax here? Ron? Doctor. Doctor? Yeah. So I just go to Specific doctor? doctor. Well, yeah, you have to see like a, like a sexual health doctor. Okay. Yeah. They uh, teach you how to inject it and everything. Oh, for real? Yeah. Is it just for job. adult stars or for anybody? Uh, usually it's more common, I feel like, for adult performers, but I'm sure there is like regular people with uh, penile dysfunction that use it to have sex with their partners. Damn. It just seems intense to like inject something before I have sex, you know? I mean, sure, if you're doing a, if you're doing a scene, but yeah. 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 I mean, it's not pleasant. It's still a needle in your dick. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'm wondering long term, right? I see you now doing well. You have a beautiful apartment. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, bitch, I don't even know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, Same. I honestly, I would like to be with my partner. Um, you know, I'd, maybe a lot later in life, but somewhere a little smaller town with animals, a lot of animals. That's but so in five years, yeah, I'll still be doing porn. Okay. It's like, that's the only thing that I'm good at, to be honest. So, And then it opened a lot of doors. So yeah. yeah, I've never been more mentally and financially stable than since I started my career. That's amazing. Is it because there's a lot of misconception? I think like 
a lot of yeah. people associate porn with like drug addiction drug addiction yeah i was gonna ask you about that is there anything like like because you mentioned you cannot do drugs on set that's like a big no-go right? yeah it is if you get caught you just scratched you never work for a studio ever again okay that's great though i think that they have like these rules yeah. Yeah, there should be rules like that all over but isn't isn't it common like what's the t common drugs people do to like on set uh, i mean there's all kinds of drugs you can take trust me I mean, you can take everything. It's everything. A drug. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying you do it. I'm just saying like, it, yeah. especially when you have an addiction, it's very easy to hide it. Mm. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good that you're stable though in that sense. But was, is there like a age where you have to retire as a porn star? Or can you like be a no. porn star grandpa? Yeah, that's the thing, especially in the gay community. You start as a twink and you end up as a daddy. So mm. you just can go on and on and on. <laughs> on how 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 far are you on the on the twink to daddy scale right now? Like where are we at? I'm still. I I think I'm still some sort of a jock. Mm -hmm. He's like in between. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like a Pokemon, you just like evolve. You know. Yeah, I'm stages. too a twink. You have to be like barely eighteen, like eighteen, twenty five ish. But you have to be super skinny, super like no hair. Like the guy you did the fireman scene with. No, he's not a twink. He's, he's not a, a twink. He's a jock. Oh no no! But the the, the geek you did a Tanner scene Tanner, with? Tanner 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 Reed the elf that's the a elf twink. the elf is a twink. <laughs> Joy right? Mills is a twink. He's a very popular twink. Yeah, Joy Mills. So what's like? Okay, do, do you have any goals like as a as a like as a performer? Right. So for example, I do stand up comedy, and I would love to at some point do a show with like um, Bill Burr. You know, like a big comedian. Yeah. Is there any performer you who do you look up to in the industry? Is there any like top oh, like I don't penis look up to of anyone. the year? No, no. Wow. I don't need to compare myself to anyone. We're James Dean. Mm. I'm not comparing myself to anyone. Okay. No, nobody should compare themselves to anyone. You should learn from the people that came before you, but not compare yourself. Came before you. <laughs> nice, Roddy. Nice one. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> oh, who came before you? Oh. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, it's good to have a role model ish, but you shouldn't compare yourself. Okay. So who's like a who's like the top? Like you say, Kate Maddox is like a big porn star right now. Yeah, I mean, Malik Delgadi is also a big he porn is? star, but wow. yeah. Damn, Chris. And I'm like, some people just don't realize, but you have to have a strong mental health to do porn. Sure, yeah. And then if you're just doing for the paycheck, yeah, it's cool, it's fast money, but at the end of the day, the money they just make, you're gonna spend like 500 times that amount on therapy. <laughs> So mm, you have to be really, point, yeah. really, really strong and confident. And then you do gay porn, you stray. Just who the fuck cares? Just do it, but just make sure that you're okay up there. Yeah. So that person that you made, you made them cry. Was that a straight person? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Damn. Yeah, it was not. It, it, I think he was young too, and I could tell he was very uncomfortable. Yeah. And he was like bottoming and. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we all got consent because it was a studio scene, but sure. he, I, I just could tell he was not there. Mm, I see that. Yeah. Do you see any difference like shooting? Because I talked to Reno Gold, right? Who does like, like he does like his own stuff in his own scenes, but he shoots with a lot of straight guys. Do you see a difference shooting with a straight guy versus a gay guy? Is it like the dynamic yeah, different or it's more complicated? Okay. Mm. Well, first of all, I don't, I, I don't mind shooting with anyone as long as they're performing. But the hustle when you ask a question to a straight guy and then they're like asking, uh, acting like they're uh, on top of the food chain. There was mm. one one time I came. He probably had like five hundred. 5,000 followers and I'm like hey do you want to do a video like a foot worship I would love to do that a blah, foot blah. worship yeah yeah and yeah. he was like so how much are you gonna pay me and blah blah I'm like buddy I'm just literally I'm Chris Damned who the fuck are you <laughs> like yeah. no and he was like you don't talk to a dumb top alpha I'm like you're 22 what do you know about being an alpha I'm like all oh, these straight dudes are giving me a hard time mm, <laughs> a dumb top alpha I was like <laughs> you, you're good I'm good go away I'm good like this is why some of the straight performers they just don't know how to work they're yeah. just like the worst. That's the problem with the gay community. We've been shoved down so much that if we worship a straight man, that's going to call you a faggot. And I can't stand it. <laughs> I have seen that. Let me show you this video. Check it out. I saw this oh. video. My, 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 my Molly age sent me this video of this guy. His name is Joe Flexmaster. I mean, it's a fetish. It's a kink. But at least do it with an actual gay person that's gonna because even if you're an alpha and you're being dominated there's still like some sort of respect these 90 percent i'm sure most of these straight people just do not care they just do it because they want the money yeah like the cash bags and all that oh this is this is one of them i think this is what he does check it out see I, there is no see, i just i don't like that i mean i love the concept of it 
But this guy is just, is just, it, it just I don't know. Yeah, I think I he's because he's like, a straight guy who insults like he calls gay person people the f word. And yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when you go to Folsom in San Francisco, there's a lot of this going on. But when you go to where? Folsom. Folsom. Yeah, it's San Francisco. I think it's in September usually. What is that? It's like a street, uh, like a, a fair, well, uh, leather and then BDSM and all that, and okay. it's pretty fun. And it literally, people do that outside on the street and fuck on the street it's pretty dope it, but everybody <laughs> everybody know, everybody knows what they're doing and it's like the community and then it's even though you're dominating someone it's still done with respect when the, the person says bread or stop it stops I'm pretty sure that person doesn't even know, have a safe word because he's probably a dumbass mm. a, a master <laughs> still has to respect his sub always yeah. and then a lot of straight guys just don't get it damn yeah I mean that's also one thing I realized in Berlin when we were there in Europe over the I was with my girlfriend went to this club and there was just like a like you know Kit Kat in Berlin mm. Kit Kat is like a famous club and they have like it's very fetish like you basically go and they have one party there even where the dress code is white tennis socks yeah that's a fetish and that's it like naked full on naked white tennis socks and you just see full on like I was at the dance floor and it was not even like a fetish party that night but I was dancing with the guy in a metal harness mm -hmm. and devil horns on yeah like literally around this, I could like, see everything and then uh, next to the DJ booth they were just like this this guy with like tattoos on his head. They were just banging right there, and like in front next to the DJ booth. I was like, "Yeah, this is per but the openness yeah. and like the the openness of that was like kind of cool." But also, I gotta say, for me, it was like it was kind of like, should I be watching? Should I like not look away? Should I like? Well, is you, it, you can know? watch. They obviously, if they're doing in public like that, they don't mind being watched as long as you just don't touch unless they give you a like a sign for them to touch for you mm, to touch. But yeah, there's a being a voyeur is also a king. There's so many kings. Yeah. <laughs> is there any? Uh, if you could go back to the start of your career, would you do anything different? Any not not regrets? In the porn? Yeah. Any, would you have? Would you have uh, done? Would you have started? No, I don't think I would because not the reputation that I have. But uh, maybe there was one time, maybe on set, when I told someone to fuck off. I should have maybe shut up because that was the director. But at the end of the day, the director was <laughs> just like not really respecting my my demands. Like I, there was specifically someone that I was like, I do not want him around because he's a psycho. And the uh, director didn't really respect that. So at some point, I just I just took off. Mm. Well, what was like the the worst experience you've had with on on set? Was there anything that stands out like a really bad experience? No, pretty. I mean, besides that that time, and then honestly, I could have dealt with it because it was not a big deal. But I'm also a little bit of an asshole, mm -hmm. so I could have easily blocked the person and keep working. But I have a very like my temperament is like I pop up pretty easily. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a really bad experience. I mean, sometimes the guys are idiot. Oh, the only I guess the only time that I was very annoyed is I flew out to fly to Vegas and then the, the model didn't show up so I was stuck in Vegas for like a, almost yeah overnight and I didn't have a car so I had to Uber everywhere and then we couldn't change the flight tickets and I had to pay for my food and obviously I didn't get paid so I was in Vegas mm. spending money instead of making it I was so pissed okay yeah oh, damn mm. I, what I find so interesting about you is that we walked in here and you, like knowing that you do porn but then seeing your life, it's so such contrasting worlds, right? Because we have this yeah. perception about porn being like dirtier and stuff like that. And you have like the, you're the most wholesome person in a way. <laughs> but then also you're like so like sexually dominant. I love that. You know, it's like mm -hmm. so interesting. Yeah, I like design and beautiful things. Of course, I'm. Gonna I mean, you have nice such life. a beautiful apartment. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's like design everywhere, like like Hermes and like your dog is so cute. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's my home. I like to be here and cozy. So. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And you say you have um, an addiction to buying nice things. Yeah, Didn't unfortunately. I hear that? Yep. Not unfortunate. That is it not is. unfortunate. No, it is. Trust me, at the level I am. The fucking store on Rodeo Drive sends me flowers. This is how much money I spend. Wow. <laughs> is that like with porn what's your what's your net worth right now? I can Google it. I can Google that shit, it's you know. Not, it's not that much. I have a very very good credit card. You have a very good credit card? Yeah. So you're just in debt straight up. No. I'm no. Not. I pay you're doing well financially you're happy yeah i just need to start saving to buy a property so i don't have to work when i'm older but mm. um yeah i love clothes and i love interior design so i like anything pretty mm. that's why i like jeff i was just yes. gonna ask that fucking yes. what that's the biggest rejection yeah. that too. <laughs> that's why i like jeff <laughs> damn 
Are there any um, dark sides to the industry? Mario and I have spoken pretty openly about um, photographers specifically, but also agents. There's just a pretty big power dynamic there. And yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I hear some people saying stuff like that. Uh, to me, never really happened, as mainly because I've been through some stuff when I was younger. Uh, but now, if someone has a gesture that I do not appreciate, that person is going to get punched in the throat. So... They know pretty much not to annoy me. That, I mean, I have this reputation to be like a, a bad boy and an asshole. So mm. nobody really comes for me. I think if you went to prison, you would run the place. <laughs> Maybe. I can see you. You know your tattoos and stuff? I can I can just see you like when we came here. Oh, unfortunately, I'd be the bottom bitch. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I have soft hands. You're, oh, my God. Your hands are so soft. Why are your hands so soft? I hydrate all day, every day. That's so soft. He's never nice. worked a day in his life. Damn. Maybe it's the lubrication and stuff. You know, yeah, it's probably like, that is you know, true. Wow. What do you think you would be doing in your life if you, if you didn't do porn? Um, I'm probably dead. I don't know. <laughs> probably. What were you doing dead? Well, <laughs> I was like, uh, like I dead. mentioned before, uh, porn brought me a lot of stability financially. and Porn saved your life in a way, you know? Yeah, yeah, it did. Like, um, I have so many friends now because of porn and so many people that I know because of it. Financial stability. And then to me, not being able to like being self-sufficient was one of the reasons I was so depressed. Like I didn't have any money and mm. so... And then trying to work a nine to five was a, a no go. What did you did you ever work a nine to five? Like, oh, yes, I work in retail. I work at McDonald's. Yeah, it was just a fucking worst. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Do you think now, if you wanted to go back to like a nine to five job, no, right? If you could be like, you want to be a secretary or something at J P Morgan, mm, I can see you. Not. You know, like I would love to be a buyer though. That's something that I was. Thinking a buyer? Of, yeah, go buy um, clothes for a specific store. You know, that's... that's just buy things. You so, just like buying things. Well, <laughs> you know, a buyer basically is commissioned by a store. There's stores in LA or anywhere. Um, yeah. And then you have to buy specific things for this specific store. So you have to know the area. So you have to know what the demand is in this area. And then you buy the proper things. Okay, I see that. Yeah. Well, with stuff like that, because you have a face tattoo, which by the way, you're the first time you, I see a face tattoo that actually I fuck with. I like mm -hmm. It looks so yeah. cool, you know? It's dope. Mm. Thanks. When you got that really face nice. tattoo, was there like a thought in your mind of like, okay, this is like a turning point. Like a lot of rappers get a face tattoo and they're like, okay, I'm all in. Rapping is what I do. Like, uh, No, there's no turning point. I wanted it. I got it. <laughs> okay, there's no... When did you get it? <laughs> um, Like last year, I believe. Oh, last year. Okay, so yeah. it's recently. I got four on my face. You got four face tats, yeah. Mm. I'm going to get another one soon. What are you getting? I don't know. Somewhere near my nose, probably. I don't know. I have to figure it out. I have to do my back too, so... Jeff. How about face tats for you? I think so. Just a teardrop here for <laughs> right? after I kill you. <laughs> Damn. It's intense, but I appreciate that, you know, I was thinking about getting a dick tattoo. Yeah, I want to do that too. I want a straight line on it. A straight line? <laughs> what else would you get? A butterfly on your cock? No, I was going to get a... No, no, I, no, 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 no. I would get a, I would get a, um, you know, like on the side here, I would get two elephant ears. So the trunk's in the middle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. Go for it. Has um has the industry transitioned? Is it mostly only fans now, as compared to traditional? No porn. The studio porn is still like still very very live. Okay. Yeah, and it's a billion dollar industry. I don't think the studios are going anywhere. And is this the mecca, Los Angeles, or is it Vegas for porn? Yeah. Uh, you know, it depends. Like I shoot mainly in. Vegas, Palm Springs, and LA. Um, Calabasas ish, it's mainly for trans porn. Um, there's New York. I mean, there's porn, Montreal also for men.com. San Diego, I shoot a lot for men.com and uh, Next Door Studio. So I really, there's porn everywhere. Okay. I think Czech Republic is also pretty big. Prague. Oh, Prague, yeah. Prague is huge for that, yeah. Yeah, all the Bellamy guys are from there. Right? Yeah, I was in contact with them actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they reached out to me at one point, yep. Okay, I got a question for you. Yeah. Somebody like me was like sexually vanilla and sometimes a little like, <clears throat> you know, insecure about having sex. You know, I want to do a good job. I want to be best at everything. Do you have any tips for us? Like some performance tips for us? Like anything like specific that, like a secret that I can apply to my sex life to just satisfy 
my wife jeff tricks of the trade mm -hmm. yeah. stop thinking and do it that's all i'm gonna say I, uh, clearly you're overthinking it it's just sex enjoy the moment it does not help, <laughs> <laughs> does not help. <laughs> i mean there's no tricks why why are you overthinking it i don't know like maybe like a like a rhythm maybe some sort of like you know like an eight shape or something or like i don't know like uh, that's the problem some you, have, little bit, you, know? you have to know your partner there's not every part every buddy is different sensitivity some people are nipple sensitive some people aren't some people like their taint like there's so much you have to learn about your partner mm. well i know what gets you going mm. <laughs> yep <laughs> turning me on watching right there. this <laughs> right, there. right there yeah just learn about your partner especially if you're in a relationship you talk about it it's nice yeah so it gets better every single time fuck yeah love that and how do you feel about like people downloading your work illegally oh that pisses me the fuck off <laughs> okay just don't fucking do it. <laughs> that's annoying it's work and i just, like there's nothing we can do unfortunately there will always be stuff like that but when you spend time it's the same thing with movies when people just watch a movie illegally it's annoying and only fans too right because we, we have stuff on only fans people like leaked stuff and that and i wish there was a better a better way to track down everyone yeah. but unfortunately just like the, the, internet, yeah. the way i see it because we are most of us have rule tests so at some point it will be taken down so the the best way to think about it is to get fr free publicity mm, i see that okay yeah makes sense in a way yeah so make sure when you put a video or a, or a trailer put watermarks everywhere <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <Stay no. laughs> the whole thing the whole thing and are you ever afraid because things like that live on the internet forever yep. do you think you might ever look back in like you know 25 30 years and kind of regret some of the scenes that are out there do you think in production regrets are 60 look at that bitch true true <laughs> true it was Agreed. what made her, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean no uh and if i have kids i definitely raise them in being sex positive but then you you explain things I mean, I'd, yeah. it's nothing to be ashamed. I love that. And I think it's also we're moving towards a more open place with that. Right? Yeah, OnlyFans yeah. Also honestly helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being for me so open. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thanks uh, a lot, check Chris. Out, uh, the, uh, the links I put there. Check the videos on the main channel. And you know what I mean? Just give yourselves a hand. Are we having sex now? It's time. Okay, good. I Bye. It's time. I think it's time. <laughs>